Well, we go now to something that I think we can all historically agree we love. Cat videos, right? I mean, you knew I was going to say that. And they've been instrumental in pioneering new technology. In 1894, Thomas Edison, you've heard of him, made the world's first ever cat video. Yep, 20-second silent film. I can't believe I'm reading this. Featuring two cats boxing each other in a miniature ring. Fast forward, if you will, to 1928. RCA began testing its early television equipment with a, yep, Felix the Cat statue. Shortly after, Felix introduced television broadcasting to the public right here at NBC. Today, cat videos and memes have taken over the Internet. And now they are also apparently taking over space as well. NASA has made history once again after successfully beaming this video of a cat named Taters back to Earth. It is the first time that NASA has streamed a video from deep space using a laser. The video was sent back from a record setting 19 million miles away. That is about 80 times the distance between the Earth and the moon, if you were looking for a reference point here. Joining me now is astrophysicist and NASA advisor, author Dr. Paul Sutter. Paul, this sounds like something fantastical. I can't even keep a straight face reading it. But the cat, first of all, has a great name, Taters. But let's talk about what NASA is actually doing here. Can you break down how do they do this? Why do they do this? Yes, uh, let's start with the why. So we have a way of communicating with our spacecraft that are deep in the solar system. And that is through radio waves. We have a network of radio dishes across the globe of the Earth. And we use these co to communicate with deep spacecraft. The thing is, this is slow. It's like dial-up days. And so our spacecraft can take months or even years to send back the data that they are acquiring from the outer solar system back to our laboratories here on the Earth. And if we want to expand our presence in space with just robotic missions or even human missions, we need faster communication. And that is what this test was exactly about. Mm. So how long did it take then? If this is a lot faster, how long did it take to beam the cat images? How long did it take to get taters back to Earth? <gasps> It, it took Taters, this 15 second clip of a very high resolution video. It took about two minutes, which is better than most broadband internet in the United States. Wow. That's incredible. Now, can you give me broader context here? Um, for, is this a side project, I guess, for a larger mission? I mean, you, you talked about communication. What is the bigger picture here? Yeah, so this particular test was a side mission. The, the spacecraft itself is the Psyche mission, which is headed to the asteroid belt, which sits between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter. And it carried along on this spacecraft, this little box, to test this laser-based communication system. This test is working great, as Taters was able to show us. And so now we can start to integrate this kind of technology in future missions and make it the default main way that we use to communicate with our most far-flung space probes. Wow. I mean, when you put it in that kind of context, obviously we are we're very impressed and understand more. <laughs> Switching gears real quickly, I know that NASA just released a new image of what's being called, I guess, the Christmas cluster. What, what can you tell me about that? Yes, this is such a beautiful and festive image. This is a real cluster of stars. This is actually a batch of newborn stars. You're looking at a bunch of twinkling wow. baby stars here in this cluster sitting about 1,600 light years away. And the gas between them is being lit up by the stars. And so we get to see this beautiful glow. And then when you orient it just right, it looks like a Christmas tree. That is really cool. And the timing is immaculate. Thank you so much, Dr. Sutter. Really appreciate your time. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.